night, good night. Namaste, Ashe says, how are you doing? I know you aggravated. I know you're ready for this reading, so let's just get started. Let's ask the angels and spirit God for, for the assistance. Okay. Romance angels. Anubis, Isis, my aunt, father, Osiris, mother, mother, no. I call upon you now. Thank you for clearly guiding me and answering these relationship questions. I ask that all of your messages, I ask that all of your, all, sorry, because I just finished doing reading, my eyes are bothering me. I'm sorry. Just give me, just bear with me, okay? You know, you know, I'm, I'm, you have readings from me before and it's never really happened, but it happens sometimes, okay? When I'm, when I'm. You know, overworked and shit like that. But I want to get this out the way because I know you want your reading, okay? But just bear with me because my eyes, my eyes are bothering me, okay? At this particular time and moment, okay? I call upon you now. Thank you for clearly guiding me and answering these relationship questions. I ask that all of my readings with these cards be accurate and pacific and bring blessings to everyone involved. Please help me stay centered in my higher self so that I may clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine messages that wish to emerge through these readings. I ask that you stay by my side and watch over me and over you too, okay, my listener, my sissy, my queen goddess, <laughs> over me during this oracle card session, ensuring that only God, love, and wisdom come through these cards. In my name, amen. So basically, we, we, we need an update situation, all right? We need an update. So that's what we're doing. We're doing an update February love reading, okay? So I'm asking my angels, your angels and spirit gods, okay, for their assistance. They love and, you know, and they love in light. Please and thank you. Can you please give us an update? Can y'all please give us an update? On the Amanda current love situation. All right, so past, present, and future. Okay. Woo, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. They thank you. Perfect. They just came out ready for you, girl. Okay, what you got going on over there, that energy. <laughs> okay, so the first card they have for you, sis, is very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You need to clearly decide what you want. Do Are you going to put up with this fucking fuckery, okay, or are you going to just move on? Okay? What are you going to do? I just got to, my other client just texted me. She said, oh my God, this, yeah, all right. That's good. It resonated with her. <laughs> all right. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Are you going to deal with this fuckery? Are you going to deal with this shit? Or are you going to say, you know what? I know my motherfucking worth. This nigga going to have to come for me. Clearly decide what you want so it can come to you now. Okay, very soon. That's what it's saying. Very soon. The cards do lay. This card asks you, what do you want? And demands very clear and specific answers, just like putting in your order at a restaurant. The universe has been listening to your thoughts. That's why I say, do not say, remember earlier I told you, watch what you say. Say you, say you healing instead of saying you hurting. Okay? Because... Listen to this. What do you want? And demands very clear specific answer. Just like putting in your order at a restaurant. The universe has been listening to your thoughts and feelings. This is why I said watch what you say, baby girl, okay? Because the universe has been listening to your thoughts and feelings, even if you are unaware, okay? About your love life and has brought you what you asked for. When you complain about what serves to you, 
It's only because you placed an unclear order. As soon as you are perfectly straightforward about what it is you desire, it comes to you, okay? Upon the wings of angels. In an instant, you drew this card because it's time for you to get clear and honest with yourself. Okay, baby girl? And this is what I've been trying to, you know, tell you earlier through the text. You know, I've been just trying to basically tell you to, you know, stop hitting him up. Even, you know, stop hitting him up. And basically, I was just trying to tell you to protect yourself. Okay? You know what I was telling you. Stop hitting him up. Don't text him. Don't fucking call him. Why? Because you drew this card because it's time for you to get clear and honest with yourself. Okay? You love yourself more than you love that motherfucker. You know your worth. You know you better. You could get a better fucking man. You could get a good man. You don't fucking need him. Okay? It's just that you, you may want him. He probably has some good cocky, some good sex. There's something about him you like. Okay? But don't let that take control of your fucking worth. Because just because you feel a certain way about this man, God probably has a better fucking man, 10 times better, look 10 times better, eat your yoni 10 times better, give you back shots 10 times better, way more than this guy. But when we focus on one man, okay, that's what happens. Okay, especially if if, if we don't know if that's our divine masculine or our twin flame, okay? Because I, I know who my divine masculine is, so I'm not, okay, so I love that man. Like, I, that's, you know, it's different because, you know, that's a different story. But, you know, this is still fresh. That's 2017. Your day is 2018. It's not enough time, okay? Like I told you, I found out four or five years later about my twin flame. I didn't, it wasn't that soon, okay? So it's, it's all about divine timing, okay? And formulate your request with faith and optimism. Trust your feelings and make decisions for yourself about what's best for you. What's best for you, queen? It didn't say y'all. It say you. Okay? That was awesome. Very soon. The next card we have is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. That's crazy because I was going to... I think I asked you, I don't know if you responded or if you saw the message, but I was going to ask you, and I asked you, I think I sent it, you know, if you had a seriously deep conversation with him, you know, did you have that that heart to heart? Because I know, you know, I say certain things to my, when, you know, well, we're not talking right now, but when he was, I would say certain things to him, you know, I would try to have a heart to heart conversation, you know, so I could get that confirmation, like, okay, you know? So you, you need to have that confirmation. You need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And I definitely freaking asked you that today. And if you didn't, you need to. Not over the phone, not texting, not talking. Face-to-face, -face, baby girl. All right? And if, if yeah, face-to-face, -face, I say, or FaceTime. So you can see the face expressions. <laughs> Your love life needs a healthy infusion of honest communication according to the Romance Angels. You've been harboring, all right, emotions that are masking your feelings of love. And these cards pertain to your situation, I swear. This resonates with me. And this is not my reading. This is yours, okay? But I, I like the way it's coming out. You've been harboring emotions that are masking your feelings of love. There's still time to heal, okay? We talked about that earlier. There's still time to heal the situation. However, it will require effort on your part. You may need to initiate an uncomfortable discussion. Look at that. Look at that. Cause don't fucking lie. You may need to initiate an uncomfortable. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable for him and probably for you. But you need some motherfucking clarity answers, motherfucker. So listen, we're going to have these motherfucking conversations. Or you're not going to get no motherfucking yoni for a while, nigga, until you fucking, you know? Was um, fix your act. You may need to initiate an uncomfortable discussion and risk. All right, you risking it because you ain't ugly. You pretty. 
You could get anybody, all right? Better. So don't fucking doubt yourself, okay? Yes, you're risking. this Because he could be like, oh, you want to have a deep conversation? I'm out of here. I don't got time for this shit. Okay, whatever. But if he like, okay, she, she want to have a conversation.